All right, what's up, ladies? Uh, yes, I assumed your gender. Cancel me on Twitter. Um, here's what's gonna happen: R188 tutorial. I don't know why it was needed. I thought that the 142 I, I explanation and all that was enough, but uh, apparently it wasn't. So we're gonna we're gonna go through this and uh, hope that a couple of you guys listen because uh, you know some people watch the tutorial and just still don't understand. So I, I don't know how that works. So here's the first thing. First thing's gonna be the 188 doesn't support announcements. It doesn't support next stop systems at the moment. It will eventually once I create a program creator uh, for the R188. When that happens, the train will be updated. And also on another rule of thumb, there are things I'm gonna tell you in this video that I recommend for your own like group you like listen to because at the end of the day these are trains that are released to the public like anyone has access to these right and so i'm just updating it based on that assumption so in the event that you make a modification or an edit to the train that let's say if i update your train may like not get the same upgrades and it may be too hard for you to understand i would recommend that you basically create a duplicate of your train specifically so that when the new one comes in it's a lot easier for you to modify it basically i'm not going to explain any more than that just keep that in mind there's going to be things i'm going to explain in this video that you may not understand i i would hope that everything i say is clear but if you are just a little on the lower side if you take the small school bus to school i you know i'm sorry but i'm not re-explaining anything please ask for help elsewhere now the first part that we're going to do here is going to be setting up the train for your game. No modifications just yet. Just simply getting the train in the game, letting it run, right? Making sure that it can actually drive, which people apparently have a problem with. So because of that problem that people supposedly have, what's going to happen is I'm going to open my Discord and I'm going to find the link because for whatever reason, if I search up the 188, it's not going to show up for me. So let us go into the releases channel in the discord server and let us my friend i, I never oh i did release it ha <laughs> cool uh okay we're gonna go and find one thing in particular that i released that people i think just like it went over their head like you know this you need this for your shit to work if you don't have it then your shit's just not gonna work you know it's as simple as that. It doesn't get any more complicated. So that's going to be the main modules. Okay. These modules exist for a reason. Okay. Why do they exist? You may ask. Because in order for the train to get any information, I would rather have all of the information stored in one script and that the other script that executes that information just grabs it from that other script. It's much easier to do things that way. Everything's a lot more organized that way. So if you put the train in your game and for whatever reason, it just doesn't drive, doesn't work. And you didn't, you're realizing now that you didn't put the modules in there. Well, I can call you an idiot, but I won't. Cause you know, I'm nice or, and whatnot. But point is, read if you're especially if you're in the server because I, I made that very clear i said this yo it's not gonna work unless you put the modules in it and and i still i still like i get looked like like i'm the idiot like like they, they'll text me like like i'm the the the, the moron your train doesn't work uh no um it's working for like 50 other groups bro I, I i don't think it's me but you know whatever you say buddy Ah, uh, I see what the problem is. Okay, I published it to this group. All right, so let me just grab it real quick. Wait, is this? Okay, I see what's going on. Clear. No, I don't need that. I need Metropolitan. Am I in this group? Is this Green Hard Hat? Okay, yeah, that's NYCT. I don't own. Oh, I have it in my thing already. Okay, sweet. My assets. Wait, no. Yeah, no, my assets. I have, yeah, right here. Aha! Modules. Look at that. You have four of them. You need all four. 
The ad handler, actually, you don't really need it. You really don't need the spawner module either. The ad handler is not going to be used until the 62 releases because only the 62 and up uses the ad handler. But now you may think that you are done and that this is all you had to do. But my friend, you would not be more wrong, buddy. You know that I can't make it that easy. So all you have to do is click all four of them. I'm holding shift, by the way, to select all four like this. And then after that, I'm going to click and drag right into the replicated storage and boom now everything should work and if it doesn't then you f yo you fuck something up dog so now next step part two it's over now this is the part where you insert the train into the game and it magically begins to work you can sign up the train drive the train and do whatever now before i get clowned if i press play and the train doesn't move it's not because it doesn't work it's because there's no tracks so we're, we're going to test it because sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But if it doesn't move, it's not me. It's just that there's no track, so it has nothing to run on. So just making sure it's clear because, you know, there's going to be that occasional dickhead in the in the, in the the chat. Oh, my God, it's the rear. All right, let's just take a walk real quick. And I instantly, I know that everything is working. How? Because the train, all the signs are usually that, like, 7501, like, LED sign. And it's not. It's the regular R142A, like old school LCD. So that's how I know that the scripts is working fine already. If yours gets stuck with like 42nd Street Vernon or whatever, all that, that's how you know it's not working. I also know it's working because the interior sign is working. Nice. Anyways. Ah, I could drive. Now, another thing. The R188 does have dual cabs. It's just the rear, the, the seat is turned off. You know, it, it, it doesn't take a genius to see that that was the problem. Like, you know, all you have to do, there's a seat back there. You know, all you have to do was click on it and you would see that it's disabled by default. You know, and, and, and here's the best part. There's this thing. It's magical. It's called, it's called this right here. Watch, I'm going to show you. It's called an output. This thing. This thing will literally tell you every problem that there is with your script. It's up to you to decipher it and basically make the correct adjustments, right? So now, you know, this thing's becoming a snake now. It's not good. All right. So here's the deal. If I jump out of this train, I think I'm going to get an error. Yep. You want to know why it says this is because in C via D, if you're in a private server, it won't delete your train. So right now, this script is partially broken, but I'm not going to fix it now. I'm going to fix it when I fix a bunch of other stuff on the train and I re-release this. So if I go here, I click it. Look, this is the problem. All you have to do, boop, delete it, gone, and everything's fixed now. Now, obviously, it's not going to always save. Yeah. See, I deleted it. Now, watch this. This is going to be so freaking amazing. You're not, you're not going to believe it, bud. Watch this. And, and remember how I said about the rear seat, right? Watch this. We're in the rear right here. If I click this, look at that, look at that. Can't touch is on, right? disabled is on wow what a shocker right if i spawn right here right now and i get in the back seat and that shit works i swear half of you guys are getting blocked holy shit amazing absolutely amazing obviously it's in reverse but you know you guys can fix that yourselves okay anyways point is now the rear seats work that's how you do it we're going to go, we've set up the train already, right? So we're done. Next chapter, creating signage for the train. How to create your own programs without a program creator. This is like so easy. It's, it's not hard to understand. It is super simple. Just, just follow instructions. We're going to make a completely new program. And just to make everything easier, I'm going to delete all this extra nonsense up here. Same with the 62 stuff. And just go boop. Oops. Okay, there we go. We're going to make a whole new program. We're going to do that R188, like, skips fucking 111 and 103rd or whatever bullshit it says. And we're also going to use our Lord and Savior, Ben the Miner, his freaking program shit. Uh, it, was, it was called MTA Sign Listings. Yep. Dude, Ben is a freaking goat, dude. 
Dog has like everything. Yo, Ben. Shout outs to you, big dog. Program preview. Ooh. All right. This is not it. It's the NTT LCD LED. Yeah, here we go. Nice. So. Okay, we're going to do seven, I said, right? Nice. Is it? Oh, skips 111th Street and 82nd. This one. This is the one we're going to do. We're going to make all the signs fresh, big dog. Fresh. All right. So... Creating signage is actually surprisingly easy, believe it or not. And the best part about it is it's going to be easier for me because there's something that I didn't release, but it doesn't matter because a lot of you guys don't even have the program to use it anyways. So we're going to go into paint.net and do it, which means we're going to go. Hmm. Let me find it first and open it. Just so I don't look dumb. Okay, here we go. Got it. Regular 7501, 7503, 7505, and the modified. This is what we're going to do. All you got to do is get paint.net because if you don't have it, it won't open the way it just did for me. You can already see that I have this set up as 111th Street and all that. But this is the same concept as the R142, which means that creating destination signs should be awfully easy for you. And if it isn't, well, then, you know, maybe you are an idiot, but that's okay. People love idiots. So with that in mind, I'm trying to decide we could do, we'll do two. We'll probably do this one and do this one just, just to really get it like down. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll, we'll start with this one though. We're going to make everything completely from scratch. So you're going to see right here. It says route 155 destination 58. If you don't have the fonts for these, fun fact, true story, I created this. And if you don't believe me, you can see it somewhere. I don't know where, but it, it says my name somewhere here. Uh, I think it's in the in the in the copyright for this. Uh, if if you open it uh, in another software, it'll show you. Uh, it'll say by Kenzie. This is my own font. And if you don't believe me, the font that I originally provided doesn't have the and symbol and all the extra symbols that this shit has. So, you know, just in case you guys think I'm bullshitting you, I'm not, but you know, it's called R142A exterior LCD. This is for the route, uh, the not route, the destination itself. This here is for the routes. All these characters are like super wrong. Only the numbers are like right, <laughs> which is insane. Uh, but all right. We're going to do this easy. One, two, three, my brother in Christ. Watch this. So we're going to basically remove all of that. Just deleted it all. Now it says route is 155. So the first thing I want to do is change my font size up here. If you can't see my mouse, then you're blind. And then get the font. It's called R142A routes. Look at it right here. R142A routes. And just to give it a quick test. Yep, that's the one. All right. So here's the deal. We're going to make the seven train. So clearly this is not in the box, the red selection box that's here, right? So being smart would mean that I would right click my mouse and then move it into place just like this. Find a good position. Make sure that it's even on all sides. This looks pretty even on the left and the right. So, you know, if you have OCD and this is triggering you, then that's real personal, bro. Just keeping it real. Now we got the seven down. First step of the sign is complete. Now, if you remember, this has three different signages here. 34th Hudson, Flushing Local, Skips 111, and 82nd Street. So now, because it says these three different signs, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to duplicate this layer three times just to have it ready. And we're going to remove their visibility because we don't really need all three of them. Actually, you can keep them on because, you know, it's not really going to affect anything. But point is, we finished the route part. That is the hardest part, right? So now, next step should be probably the easiest one. Destination says that the size is 58. 
So we're going to make the size 58 and then we're going to find the R142A exterior LCD destination font that I created, you know, praise me. And you'll see it. Wow. Perfectly fits in the goddamn box. You believe that that shit is crazy. All right. So now we've got our destination set up. Once you get in, in the first box, always get kind of like use a character to measure out and make sure that you're in the, in the, in the right bounds. So I put the A down. I know that this fits. So you may be wondering how does the spacing work on this train? I believe that on the 188s, it 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 tries to to center itself more to the right than it does the left. So let's say that instead of you having uh this is a 20 character sign, if you don't if you have seven characters, that's uneven, right? So it would it would focus more and push it to the right side than it would on the left. I could be wrong. If you find out, you know, feel free to correct me. I really don't give a fuck. So it is what it is. But you can see the selection boxes here. Uh, what we're going to do is if you are still, if you have a doubt, what you could do is just say R188 skips 111 signage. And then just watch a video and get the correct information from the video. I mean, whoever's video this is, yo, W Transit Production, I know you definitely play Roblox or, or BV or something. All right. I could see that there's six characters on the left. And there's five on the right, which it, it proves what I was saying. It's always going to want to shift to the right if it's uneven. So just keep that in mind when working with the 188. The 142 does the opposite. It, it shifts to the left. So 34 Hudson is what it says. We're going we're gonna to write it first. Or you could put the spaces first because we know it's six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. 34 Hudson. Done. Now we have our first sign. Great job. We're going to turn off the visibility on it. Start with another one. Again, watch the video. Flushing local four and four. This is an even sign. One, two, three, four. Flushing. Wait, does it say local or LCL? It says LCL. I got short term memory loss out here, yo. Literally just saw it and already forgot. Perfect. Remove the visibility. And on to our last one. This one takes up the entire sign. Skips 111 Street and oops, and 82nd Street. And just like that, we have all three of our signs. You are already better than half the people who've started this tutorial and probably haven't finished yet. So we're going to go step by step on like putting it on the train and all that stuff. So. Go into the selection boxes layer. Clearly, the selection boxes have an outline, and this is on purpose. This is not just to show you where to put it. It's because that is the exact bounds that it needs to be in order for it to work on the train and line up properly. So it's not like, and I'm going to give you a hint here, on the 179, you would export this entire picture without the background, obviously, and this is the entire sign. But on the 188, it is split into two pieces, just like the 142. The route and the destination are its own thing, which means that basically, if you are still following me here, in order for me to get these things working properly, I would need to select the seven using the magic wand tool, which just so happens to be the key S. Click inside of the selection box and then go to any one of the layers as well. All we need is one of them. Go into this layer, let's say, and just press control C. Make a new picture. Press control V. And here we have our seven in its hindsight glory. Now we can save this. So we're going to make a tutorial R188 folder. Literally called it exactly what I said, which is great. Route. I'm, I'm just going to name it route seven. That's the first step. We can delete this because we're not going to use it anymore. We re all we need is one of them. Now we're going to go layer by layer doing the same process, but with the destination. So we're going to do the first one, which is going to be. 34 Hudson. You can barely see it there in the words. 34 dash Hudson. Perfect. Make sure to not use any illegal characters. Um, illegal characters are like slashes. You can't have them in the name. Uh, this one says flushing LCL. And then this last one here says skips 111th Street and 82nd Street. So 
We're going to put this here. Skips 111 Street. And, oh, that's an illegal character. Pretty sure. 82nd Street. It might be. I don't. It may. Actually, no, it's not. It's saved. All right, we're good. We already have all three of our signages here. So we know for a fact that this program is basically the seven local program. But the only difference is that it's going to skip 111th Street and 82nd Street, right? So when we get there, which we'll do it right now, but that means that when I'm doing my stops, I can really just copy 7A LCL1 here and basically get a good, uh, just remove 111 82nd Street and that will basically be the program. And it'll show up on the uh, strip map too. So that's going to be great. Making our new program. You can see here that we have a test program that basically explains to you what exactly is going on. This all this mumbo jumbo means some shit like actually. So believe it or not, you know, it, this all means something. So what we'll do is that instead of just rewriting it, we'll take the blank one. And we're just going to make a new program based off of this and we're going to call it 7 LCL uh, skips 111. Right. It doesn't really matter what you name it. It's all the same shit. So judging by what we're going off up here, we know that route is going to be what shows up on the front circle. What's going to show up on the interior. That also applies to the bullet. So if I put here seven and I leave this NIS, the interior sign and the front bullet is not going to show any circles or any diamonds. It's just going to show seven for anyone who wants to do that with their destinations. That's why the NIS option is there. So now. We're going to do LCL. Next step, it says destination. Oh, no, wait. We're missing something here. Oh, this part. Okay, so this is semi-inaccurate, but, you know, we're, we're still explaining it. Oh, no, it is right. Destination. Okay, perfect. Where we're going to. This is also for the interior sign as well as the little TOD in the screen. It's going to basically say where you're going to. It's not based off of this. Because this is usually different than what it says on the front sign. So we're going to 34. And I know for a fact that it says Hudson YDS on the interior. So that's where we're that's where we're heading to. How many times does the sign on the exterior change? We saw in the video that it changes three times. So this is going to change to three. Now, here's the first phase of it. The first phase here shows that this is for the LCDs itself. See original route num. Uh, oh, I see what's going on here. Okay, I set this one up differently. Original route num. Yeah, yeah. So they're all together in one. Oof. Oh, oh, oh! I see what's going on. That's the route. Ha ha ha! Try to catch me lacking, motherfucker. No sir. All right. I literally, I'm the one who wrote this. It shows you I haven't done this shit in a minute. Oh, I have to publish the game. All right. Shoot. All right. We're we're gonna just do it real quick. One, two, three, four. Uh, yes. All right. Here's what we're going to do as well. While, while that gets completed, we're going to do the same thing with 7501 signage and all that. Just to give you an example, I'll probably do it after we finish this. Cause I'm not, I don't think it's going to spawn the 7501. So we should be fine for the most part, but yeah. So what we're going to do is, so you can see that the first one, which is this one here, is the original route number. That means the LCD one. So we're gonna go into the asset manager right here, and we're going to upload some of the images that we have created. Stuff you need. No, I put them in a new folder. Route seven, import, nice. I'm gonna leave this right here. Copy, I'm gonna put that in there. This one and this one do not apply to us anymore. Because that is for 7501 and 7502, which is the other sign. 7501 has a very boxy slash Minecraft looking uh, destination uh, font uh, or typeface is what that's called. So obviously 7502 would be the rest of the signs that have a different one. Uh, this would apply to the modified destination signs, which have just the little uh, circle and diamond for the 188. And this is the full signs that uh, use the other stuff. So... We're going to leave those blank for now because we don't need them. Now, we know here that this says image one, two, three, and four. This is original exterior images. So 
So these three, starting from here, we're going to put a separator here. Ooh. I forgot you can't do that. There we go. So right here, we're going to basically put original, right? Just, just so that we know, and by we, I mean you guys, because I know that some people might get lost in all the mumbo jumbo. Now we're going to upload our destination signs here. And we're going to put them in order. Okay. We know that our first sign starts here. So this would be 34 futs in. The second one right next to it would be Flushing Local. And the last one would be Skips 111 Street and 82nd Street. This fourth one, there's no fourth sign. So we don't need it. Now, this same four different types, uh, typefaces or like different slots for signs goes for the 7501 and the 7502. Which means that basically, as you can see up here, these signs, which surprisingly the seven line only uses two destination slides. Same thing here. You have one, two, three, and four. Over here, the same thing. One, two, three, and four. So now, next step comes the TOD. This is what's going to show up on the screen inside the cab. You need to get your image, which I use images from the toolbox for this. And if you can see, we're going to count backwards from here. True. So this is one, two, three four and five. The image obviously is going to be the little route bullet that's going to show up in the cab. So now we're going to count backwards basically from here. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, he can count. Oh my God. Amazing. Now we already have our route bullet. Next step is going to be the text that shows up right next to it. So obviously it is 34th street Hudson flushing local. And if you're wondering what the slash N does, what this is going to do is that instead of it, you can't do this in a script. You can't split text like this, right? The way to do it is you do slash N and when it gets put into the text box, into the text label, it'll it'll split it basically. So just keep that in mind. That slash N there is backslash N is, is, a, is a chat command basically. So next step we're gonna do is just copy that. It says flushing local. And then the last thing is just gonna say skips Just like that, just so we know that that is the new destination that we just made. What is the next stop on your train? Only the old, well, current released R188 needs this. The new one that I'm working on doesn't need this value. But we're going to just put Mets Willits Point, as it says here. And then L and True. What this represents is what direction the strip map is going to show. So left side is going towards Manhattan. So we're going to type in the letter L here. If you were going towards Queens, you would use R and we want the strip map to turn on. So this is going to be true. We've officially set up our first entire new program. Now it's not going to work just yet because we need the stops for this to work on the strip map. Now, thankfully, the 7A local uh, one is the same program, but it only has the two stops that it's not actually stopping at, which is 111 Street and 82nd Street. But that does mean that we can copy this destination, basically do what the transit community does, which is plagiarize, uh, put the new destination uh, name or code here, and just remove 111 Street and remove 82nd Street. And just like that, we have our new program and everything should work. What I'm going to do now, just to prove that it does, and we're going to copy the destination uh, code here. And if you guys know, you know, the R188 has a code type thing where you could type in your own code. So uh, that's what we're going to do now. I'll show you how to make your own button for it too, but just, just to show you that it works. Custom code. There you go. Now we have our new destination, Skips 111 and 82nd Street, 34th Street, Hudson, Flushing Local, Skips 111th and 82nd Street. So now we have our destination sign properly prepared. We're also going to check the TOD inside the train just to make sure. Okay, so clearly, <laughs> clearly someone has messed up here. Because not even this is turning on. But at least the signs work for the most part. All right. Let's see. Let's see where the mistake is at. 34th Street Hudson. So that's one, two, and three. 
The signs definitely work. They're going to end here. One, two, three, four. Aha, I see. It's missing one. I might have deleted it on accident. It's missing one. That's why it wasn't working. All right, now it's going to work perfectly fine. And if you guys don't know how I knew it was missing one, it's because there should have been eight empty ones before the, the route logo went in. So that's how I could tell. There we go. I use the express one on accident, but you can see it says 34th Street Hudson, Flushing Local, skips 1 11th and 82nd Street. Next stop is Metzwitz Point. That's basically that last value is just what shows up in the thing. And you could also see here, Flushing Main, Mets Willits, 111th and 82nd Street are blacked out. You could create your own Super Express program. I already think I have one here, but. Yeah, this train is, is on some crack shit or something. Anyways. That's what it's point. That's it. That's all you needed to see. All right. Destinations are done. The train does not like being like not being on tracks. This is what it does. Just slides. All right. We got that done. You guys understand destinations now. And just to give you a quick refresher, we're going to do the same thing with the 7501 uh, font. Just to show you how this works again, remember the same thing I just explained. These fonts are available to you. They're in the 7501 font actually is available on Fontstruct. It is also in the, uh, it's in our server as a uh, font as well. But they're in Ben the Miner's fonts under the uh, subway fonts that he has, uh, like the subsection. So I'm not going to be providing links because you should already have that from the bus destination thing. Okay, I'm not going to be a dick. I'm, I'm going to leave it there. But, you know, just just be smart. You know, if, if it's under one link, then it's going to be under the other one. Just keeping it real. So route is going to be 60. We're going to place this down in here and make sure that it lines up with the other LED signs that are here. The other LED dots. And same thing as before. 56.4 is going to be the font size for the other part. So here, what we're going to do is just type in the letter A, make sure that it all lines up. And here we can do the rest. So this was, I believe, 6. I said 34 Hudson. No, it was 5. Was it 5? Oh, no. On these signs, it's not 20. It's 19. There's 19 of them, not 20. So it would be centered more... It would be the same thing. So it would look even. Just pretend that there's an invisible character here. So just always think. Because for the 7501, I believe it wouldn't say skips. It would say kips. K-I-P-S. I believe so. Or if it says skips, it doesn't say the last one in the end. And we can actually confirm that. Okay, you can see... The 7503 says that, okay. 7503 says the full thing, okay. Come on, bro. You guys are failing me right now, bro. Where's the good shit? Oh, here we go. Oh, that shit looks amazing. Not even centered, bro. People with OCD are going rampant right now. Oh, my God. You see how it says Kips? That's what 7501 does. It, it skips the first character, basically. So just keep that in mind. 111th Street and 82nd. All right. Awesome. Now, same concept. Selection box. Boom. Well, we're going to do the rest now, but... Ooh. 7501 34 Hudson Next one is flushing 
This one's going to be off center. But like that much. It's going to stick to the left and you're going to see that. Right there, you see three and then four. Yep. Same thing, selection box, other layer. Okay. This one's going to say Kips. There we go. I'm not going to put it on the train because you guys should already know how to do that. So that's how we're going to end the conversation. Okay. Okay. Next thing is going to be the sound. How do I get the sounds to work? You may ask. Now, here's the deal. For those people who haven't verified their ID with Roblox, you are, you are fucked from the start because... You only get 10 audios and this train uses less than 10 audios. Sure. But the problem is, although it uses less than 10 audios, when it comes to announcements and all that other stuff, you're going to need more than 10. Just keep it in real. Just keep it in real. So just keep that in mind, but we're going to go through it as well. There's a sounds folder. Ha ha. Hoorah. All of these sounds are exactly like, dude, that like, I, I can't, they're called this in the train, except for the air. The air is called like AC, I think in the train, AC one and two, but you can find most of the sounds in the base of every train car, which is like here, AC one, two, you got the clocks, which is here. You got the compressor audio, which is right here. The door opening and door closing is also here, as you can see. Oh, okay. It's not. Wait. Ah, because the sound is allowed. It's whitelisted, so it should work for you. And if it doesn't, please do let me know. Even though there's like a whole bunch of Roblox audios that are still free that you can use anyways. M break. And this is free. So you don't need those. Out of service. Uh, I have it right here. Same with the last stop. The propulsion actually is not in the base. It is in this. You can select it and it's here. So you can see all you need to do is upload the audios yourself and replace each and every audio with the new audio that's uploaded by you. And if you don't know how to give permissions to other games to use your audio, that's personal. There are way too many tutorials on Roblox from people who don't like trains. So go watch one of their videos. Now that that's explained, excuse me, I'm just going to explain real quick how to add that new destination that we did. Oh, excuse me. As a sign here, uh, as like a, on the UI thing. So here, it's so easy. Watch this. Boom, boom. Right, right, right. You ready? Boom, boom. Oh, I'm, I'm too fast for you. So what this script is going to do, right, is it's you, see, you could see that this is named after like the the this the name so all i gotta do is copy 7a lcl5 rename it to this and then change the text from vernon shuttle to uh 34 hudson flushing lcl skips 111 and 82nd street just like that and in theory i should be able to get on the train and see it in theory Wow, look at it right there. And I could click it and that's what shows up here. Skips 111 and 82nd Street shows up there. Everything works, strip maps works, signs work, doors work. Everything's working, nice.
Sounds work. I just have sounds off because, you know, like off from uh, OBS. So don't don't say it didn't work. Uh, no, it did. I, I heard it. Nice. All right. Point is, we've got that done. You guys know how to work with that. The last, very, very, very last thing I'm going to show you. And this requires a lot, a lot of setup in your game. I would recommend that you do this before you even start. But this is kind of like, eh, you know, if your game is already made, it's going to take a long time. So do you know what collision groups are? Collision groups is what allows for these train games to make their trains go through each other rather than crash into each other. How do you set this up? It is super simple. All you need to do is go to model collision groups and you'll get this little menu here. Thankfully, they updated it, but before it used to be numbers <laughs> like it used to be numbers and you had to guess which number belonged to what. But now now it's a, it's, a, it's a name. So what I could do is name this one train body. Name the other one train wheels. That's what's going to collide with the rails. And name the other one train floor. Right? Now, it's, it's super easy on how you want to do this. You don't want the train body to collide with other train bodies. And you don't want it to collide with the train floor or wheels. You want the train floor to collide with default because that's the player. But keep in mind, you don't want default to collide with default. And this is where the problem begins because default is the, is the regular. Everything is under default once you insert it. Right. But if you don't want, all right, your players are going to crash into each other because they're under the same group. Right. So to avoid this, you can make a, a player group called players and then make a script that automatically gives your players that collision group. It's pretty easy to do. There's tutorials on it, but you don't want train floor to collide with default. Unless you really want players to walk on it and you just don't want the trains to crash each other, but you're okay with people crashing into each other. I don't know. doesn't make sense. Train floor won't collide with train floor. We're going to make it collide with default though. And then train wheels won't collide with train wheels or default. It would only collide with rails if you make it. Basically, you would go into every part. You could make a script do this and basically change the collision group here to train body. Just like that. And now this part is under the collision group. And with the way we set it up, it won't crash into each other if the train is alone. The players will still crash into each other, but not this part, at least. You do that for every part of the train. There is scripts you can run for that, but that's what this command for, uh, command bars for down here. So anyways, this hopefully explained everything that you needed to know for this train. I don't want to hear anybody say a goddamn thing to me. This video is more than enough for you to understand everything that you need to know for this train, how to set things up using the existing scripts that are on the train and how to do everything from A to B. OK, so now that that's done, there will be no other tutorial for the 188 until the program relate uh, re program creator. You see, bro releases in which case there will be a separate video explaining how to use the system and how to properly set everything up from announcements to other things uh on that front uh yeah don't be cringe and uh you know welcome to the trans community